Here's Steve Sutton. Well, with the football season not yet quite over, the managerial bloodletting, which normally accompanies the summer months, has got off to an early start in the region. Lenny Lawrence and Middlesbrough have parted company with one game to go. Today, the club refused to be drawn into speculation about a replacement, but names like former player Graeme Souness, Leeds' Gordon Strachan and Manchester United's Brian Robson are already being thrown into the ring. Gibson looked anxious when he faced the press this morning, less than 24 hours after the club revealed that Lawrence was out. The decision, which he says was mutually agreed, came after another home defeat in front of a disastrously low crowd. Lenny was very well liked at the club and he worked very hard for the club. It was the feeling within the board that he had come to the end of his contribution. We couldn't see uh, Lenny taking us into the new season. Lawrence took Borough into the Premier League in his first season at Assam, but relegation followed and he couldn't lead a weakened side into the playoffs this year. He was only allowed to buy one player in 20 months, but the chairman defended his spending policy. But didn't he, as chairman, bear some responsibility for the club's failure? Everybody has to shoulder some responsibility who's involved in the club. But when you say responsibility, responsible for what? Not providing money to buy players. I'm not aware of that being the position. We haven't bought any. When? Today? Last week? Last this season? Year. How many how many signings has he had this season? Steve Vickers, Steve 750,000 pounds. Yeah. But you're only taking a very small window. It was felt uh, by the team managers that the current squad could be good enough to get us back up. We invested substantially in existing players. Despite the fact that the club had a horrendous wage bill last year, um, that was increased again at the beginning of the season. If you look at the clubs that have been successful in this current campaign, uh, they've spent a fair bit of money, haven't they? Middlesbrough haven't. Now, do you not, or do your fellow directors, not shoulder some responsibility for not providing the same level of investment the Crystal Palace directors and Nottingham Forest directors provided for their managers. They are going back to the Premiership, Middlesbrough are not. The net investment was probably greater at Middlesbrough Football Club than it, was both, than, than it was at both Forest and Crystal Palace. What we've achieved this year is financial uh, stability. We've achieved stability in the boardroom, stability between the shareholders, and a substantial uh, move towards a new stadium. There's endless speculation about the new manager and names such as Graham Souness and Gordon Strachan are being mentioned. We know what we want. We will make the decision in our time in the interest of the club and we will make the announcement at the appropriate time. A big name would undoubtedly bring the fans back to Ersam. They've stayed away in their thousands this season. The club is also conscious that it needs to attract supporters to its new stadium which is due to open next summer. The chairman admits that he's been listening to the crowds who voted with their feet. We always listen to the fans and the product that we've served up this year, the, the football that we've served up this year, uh, has resulted in a loss in our gate of about 8,000 uh, per match. That cannot continue. Well, so much for the view from the boardroom, but the question for Borough's fans will be not just who's appointed to take over from Lenny Lawrence, but whether the club can make a new start after two seasons of stagnation. Jake went to talk to some of them and to see the man at the centre of today's events. In fact, the doors of the Lawrence home on Tees side were staying firmly shut to reporters today, and as he drove away, the now ex-Borough boss rebuffed inquiries with a firm no comment. However, the fans, who'd gathered for a lunchtime drink at the Yellow Rose pub in the shadow of Ayrson Park, were more forthcoming with their views on Lenny's legacy. He started well. They got a bit patchy, picked it up again, and all of a sudden it just dropped off, and that was it. Like, but I mean, injury problems did that as well, like, but uh, he still didn't have no depth of squad to, to cover it. To me, he was a second-rate manager. Oh, all he'd known was relegation battles. You know what I mean? Already so fair enough, he got Middlesbrough open to the... Fest division, but we come straight back down. You need the like the back and support from the boards, which you, like Lenny didn't get. Needs money to spend, buy players. He's come and gone in three years, and we're back to where we started. I mean, a bit of a fluke we went up, I reckon. I mean, 
bit of euphoria, whatever you call it. I mean, but uh, like I say, the board to dominate Middlesbrough managers too easy. And like I say, Graham Sonis comes to mind as a man who will stand up to the board and maybe possibly get something done with the team. I mean, it's, I'm sick of seeing players being sold and nothing coming in. Graham Sonis, yeah, because he's got the experience, the experience he had with Rangers. And uh, well, he would stand up for me, yeah. You know, he, he's he's got like I was saying earlier on, he's got experience in cup finals. You know, a lot of ambition. He's won leagues, he's won European cups. You know, as a player, you know, he's done things as a manager as well. I mean, someone like that, would be smashing. Supporters Association spokesman and fanzine writer Andy Himes believes the club will now have to speculate to accumulate. You need to give somebody the resources with which to operate, and Lenny never had the tools. We don't know very much about the club finances because they seem to be an extremely closely guarded secret. But it seems clear that there was no money, even for modest speculation, I accept that there's no John Hall at the club. But you've got to speculate a little bit to accumulate. We all, we all buy houses with mortgages, but this club seems to want all the money in the bank before it's going to spend anything. Lenny Lawrence, meanwhile, declined to be interviewed on camera, but did say he was disappointed to be going, but wanted to leave quietly and with dignity. Well, with us now is Willie Madron, one of the club's most successful players, who was himself sacked as Borough's manager. Willie Madron, you've been there before. What will Lenny Lawrence be feeling now? He'll be very disappointed. He'll be hurting somewhat. Um, it took me quite a while to get over it. But I think Lenny's gone out uh, with his dignity intact. Um, he's always impressed me uh, in the media, he's han handled himself very, very well, never dodged the issue, he's been very honest uh, regarding his own performance at the club and the players performance, um, but I've no doubt it'll not be too long before Lenny gets back into a, a full-time uh, managerial position. And as far as his time at Middlesbrough is concerned, was there anything he could have done differently, do you feel, or was he always destined to part company with the club? No, I don't think that at all. Um, if I was to, be, to look back at a, a critical time in the season, um, I think it might have been when John Hendry uh, had his injury. They had a terrific start and uh, Lenny had the finance from the Alan Kernigan deal. Um, I don't think he reacted quickly enough in my opinion. If you look back through November and December, Middlesbrough only scored five league goals and that's when the season started to, to, to go downhill. And he would have done it for all the right reasons. He, he wouldn't be panicked into just buying a player for the sake of it. But having said that, the momentum of the good start was lost. But um, Burroughs' problem in general, though, he's had it, you had it. They have to sell players to survive. They don't have the resources to buy in the players to make a real impact, do they? It's true, and, but having said that, Lenny has put the uh, emphasis on the youth policy, and Middlesbrough will be well aware that they, they have to bring you know, good youngsters through. Um, I looked at the side uh, over the last month. I haven't seen too much football over the last sort of five or six years. But when I've looked at the Middlesbrough side, they did appear to be well motivated by the manager. And I don't think they're too far away. Although Lenny's lost his job, it, you know, then it's not as if they suffered relegation or anything like that. And just lastly, what kind of name will they be looking for to replace him? Personally, I would look to somebody like Graham Souness. Um, people might be quite surprised at that. Uh, a, initially to manage the club, and B, I, I would, if I was a director, I would be asking him if he might possibly consider putting money into the club. William Madrim, thanks very much for joining us. Pleasure. Well, other news now, and the government 